Kaveh Swizzle. Today, I am going to present overview of our research. We have proposed a systematic design methodology for residual band dual polarized antenna that provides tunable range of frequency ratio, orthogonal linear polarization, high polarization purity and lowest frequency ratio, and similar radiation characteristics using single layer, single field structure. Dual band dual polarized antennas are required in applications such as two-way satellite internet system that requires two orthogonal polarizations, excited and low frequency ratio. However, due to the excitation at low frequency ratio using single feed, the possibility of their simultaneous excitation increases, hence compromising the polarization purity of linear polarized signal. Now, value of the axial ratio is indicator of the polarization purity, and for the linear polarized signal, it should be greater than 16. Higher the axial ratio, higher will be the polarization purity. We have used fundamental degenerate modes of triangular patch antenna. Degenerate modes have orthogonal currents, orthogonal polarization, and similar broadside radiations, but they are resonant at the same frequency. So in order to utilize them for dual band antenna operation, a slot is loaded along the top edge to separate the resonant frequencies of degenerate modes. Now variations in the size of the slot provides tunable range of frequency ratio. You can refer to our paper for the mathematical model and analysis for the proposed slot. This is the modal significance graph for one of the iteration of the slotted structure. As you can see, mode 1 moved to a lower resonant frequency while the frequency of mode 2 is slightly affected. Now the modes are excited at different frequencies but retain fundamental current symmetries, radiations and orthogonal polarizations. These are the fabricated prototypes. The simulated and measured S parameters in this graph is showing a single mode is excited in triangular patch antenna while in the slotted patch both modes are simultaneously excited at different frequencies. Now I will briefly discuss few of the fundamental limitations referring to the parameters on the horizontal axis with the increase in the size of the slot frequency ratio increases and vice versa. This is the axial ratio of the degenerate modes of triangular patch antenna which you can see is very high. So when the slot is incorporated to separate the resonant frequencies, axial ratio of both modes significantly reduces. But you can also see here that axial ratio of antenna in both bands is greater than 15 dB at the frequency ratio of 1.057. So antenna offers high polarization purity in both bands at lowest frequency ratio. Now, axial ratio increases with the increase in the size of the slot and frequency ratio. This is the quality factor of the degenerate modes of triangular patch antenna. You can see here that the quality factor of mode 1 significantly increases with the increase in the size of the slot, whereas there is a slight increase in the quality factor of mode 2. Similar trend is observed in the bandwidth versus frequency plot. This is the summary of our work. Thank you so much.